everybody in here sitting in the tiny house having my iced coffee with all of you running the fan and well I just have to tell you my solar I have major issues with my solar right now something is going on I'm not sure what it is but the batteries aren't charging so I have practically zero solar I'm gonna troubleshoot today and see what's going on and see if I can get it to charge it may just be that the batteries I deep discharge them too much and after a while they they don't last very long the batteries that I have I figured they'd last longer um, but they're well they're AGM batteries they're not lithium lithium you can deeply discharge more and they'll last longer um, but they do wear out after a while so I'm gonna troubleshoot today and see what's going on however neighbor I'm just gonna call her neighbor lady the, the lady I'm making apple butter with oh she invited me over last night and um, made the most delicious dinner I'm going to show it to you right now it was so good it was uh, what was it a uh, pork tenderloin that had been cut in its filet she put it on a rotisserie she put some potatoes on the rotisserie um, cooked the cornbread in like another skillet basically fried it, it was so good made some um, fried cabbage and then for dessert kind of like a sponge cake that had apples and strawberries in it that she made in the microwave she is an amazing cook anyhow so when she saw how I was suffering and um, she's also the lady I run into town do errands with and stuff like that and we barter back and forth for things like a back and forth um, I'll give her eggs and um, she'll pack me up uh, pick me up a, a bag of ice or something like that well she saw how I was suffering and so she got a big old extension cord she had inside her house and then I coupled that with the other big extension cord that I have in fact two extension cords ran a cord all the way over here so I could run my fans now she says she didn't care you can run whatever you want but I am just going to run the fans at night so I can sleep and um, so far it's working great it's very very temporary because electric is kind of expensive out here um, and that's kind of a bummer and that's why I don't have electricity but right now I'm suffering so until I can get my generator and or get my solar fixed this is a tremendous help and you can be assured I'll be helping her back whenever she needs it um, and she's just another one of those people she asks you for nothing but wants to give much so I try to give much back to her as well so we're gonna check on the apple butter a little bit later on today I don't know what other projects I'm going to get done. Oh, I do need to get that tarp up because it's going to rain again. It rained last night, uh, yesterday, and I didn't have the tarp up. I didn't have it up. So I think it's going to be cool enough. I'll go out there and uh, get that up and get that taken care of. Uh, the good thing is, is the big uh, water tote is almost full. So that's good. Anyhow, I got I to gotta brush my hair, brush my teeth, finish my coffee, and just get this day going. Here's what the apple butter looked like last night when we got it started last night in her big, huge crock pot. It's been going all night, so I'm looking forward to going over there and seeing how it's doing today and maybe add, you know, more sugar or some more spices, whatever, and then can some of it up. So I can't wait to see how it's doing. I did get the new tarp up, and it is just very rudimentary for now. I didn't even put those metal posts in um, because this is a sturdy enough tarp just rolling these in like this is I think it's gonna be good enough you may wonder what all this is about well it's just <laughs> I joined them together with a zip tie and put them down into the hole basically all that is and what these are here for is to steady it in between I'm not gonna even show you what I did until I know for sure it's gonna work um, but I've tested it and it works and there's no jagged edges anywhere that little piece of uh remember this i just wrapped it in a remnant of a tarp um so hopefully it'll work i mean i've tested it it does work there's nothing sharp on it so there is absolutely no reason why this wouldn't work i think it's got enough of a roll to keep the water in and um so it's supposed to rain later tonight we'll just see if it works ain't that gorgeous <laughs> another one of ann's tiny lives silly builds bet I use what I have yeah and the, the little pot that's just an old pot um, it's just filled with water to kind of hold that little board down to kind of stabilize that little area a little bit so let's keep our fingers crossed and hope it works 
I'm just taking a little break here for a minute. Papa is too. <laughs> just cooling off and then I'm gonna go over to my next door neighbors and see if the apple butter is done. I did go check the apple butter. It's not done yet, it's not even close. So I'll go check back later today and I'll film a little snippet then. But I wanted to show you something that's growing here. It's very beautiful. Look at that. It's just like a vine and these beautiful flowers all over the place. These weren't here last year. Uh, maybe they were and maybe they just got mowed down. But there are a ton of beautiful flowers. I'm going to have to run these through my plant app and uh, see if I can figure out what they are and if they're poisonous. Turns out they are wild sweet potatoes or man root, wild rhubarb, wild potato vine, whatever. Um, and guess what? Guess what? The roots, yes, they are edible. The roots form large tubers, sometimes up to 22 pounds. The younger versions are more palatable, less bitter. If you get an older one that's bitter, you just boil it a few times and that's supposed to take all that bitterness away and you can eat them just like sweet potatoes or whatever. So yeah, I'm going to give this a try. I dug up part of one of the roots from a small plant located somewhere else on my property, but it's the same plant. And sure enough, it looks exactly like the root that I found during my research. So I've got this big patch over here and I was hoping that they weren't all coming from one root because then I would have to leave it alone. But down here, you can see multiple vines multiple vines are coming out of this one location right down here and that comprises most of this patch but I did find one stray one so I'm gonna dig down in here and see if I can find maybe just another little root I'm thinking that there's a big root down underneath of here where all of these plants are coming out right here so I'm gonna dig this one up and just see what I find. What I found when I dug this big clump up is, well, a bunch of little roots and a ton of other roots that all seem to be coming from that direction. So my guess is the main root is underneath this patch right here where most of them are coming out of the ground. So I am not going to touch these. I'm gonna turn this over. Maybe it'll grow again, maybe it won't, I don't know. There's so much of it around here um, and then I read that it, it's best to kind of mark these and harvest them in the fall or winter um, like normal people do with, you know, potatoes and sweet potatoes. So I'm going to just do that and I am going to take that one little piece right over, what did I do with it? Right over there, clean it up, cook it up and see how it tastes. Hmm, is that goldenrod? I'm pretty sure that's goldenrod. Doesn't that look like goldenrod to you? Hopefully I'll be able to harvest some this year, dry some out, and use it up for various different things. I can't even remember what it's good for. Yeah, that looks like goldenrod to me, doesn't it? It's a pretty plant. Miss Pris is out taking her daily romp. I'm so glad to see her out. She's handling this one a lot better than the other ones. I hardly ever saw her get off the nest before, but she's getting off every day now and she's doing very well. She goes and takes a dust bath. Her comb is shrunken, but it's not as bad and pale as it was before. And she's getting plenty of water. She's on day, I think it's day 11 right now, so 10 more days to go. You're such a good mommy. Well, the apple butter is still not done. We made a huge batch of it, so I suspect it's not gonna be done until probably tomorrow. So we'll just kind of follow up on that then. <sighs> it's a nice day. I mean, it's warm right now. I'm sitting in the shade. Um, I think it's about 90 degrees inside the tiny house, but it's not as bad as it was. So I'm just so grateful for that. Anyway, um, I think that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video.
thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.